from the Duck Shack. These two khaki Campbells are the ones that we rescued from the rental here in Kalamazoo. And they have caused um, not a little bit of difficulty. Male and female pair. The guys that we have are all going after the female, but then the male is going after Bobble and the young ones, and yeah. Alright, the ladies, uh, that one is Daisy, that one's Leaf, and that's our little Rowan pack. We have Mango out today off of her nest. Really, she's getting to the end of that. And then we have Bobble and Zumi. Zumi's the one with the weird wing. Zumi's male, apparently. And then we have Jerry. Zumi and Bobble both have more white on their wings than Mango and Jerry do. I think that's from Webster. But yeah, now that the teenagers are getting older, it's causing issues. The guys are going after Bobble and Zumi. They see Zumi as a threat. Zumi has no idea what's going on. He's not quite there yet. And then we have our happy little Petunia runner. She doesn't usually get in the pool. You will notice the boys are not out. The boys were being so bad that I put them back in the barn for now because three on one, especially in the pool, is a quick way for us to lose a duck and they don't get to do that. And they weren't stopping, so they're back in the barn. I think we're going to have to come up with a totally separate pen for the three of them, to be honest. These little khakis, they just, they, they're fine with people. They're, they're actually really good. They're just being ducks. Uh, it's just trying to integrate them in with our flock when we know we have more littles in the house uh, on the way. Trying to decide how we're going to handle all that. Hi, Mango. Yeah, Mango doesn't shut up these days. No, you don't. It has been nice to have a bit of a break in the heat, but the heat has definitely had an impact on the garden. Uh, we have total fence breakdown due to the spaghetti squash. Oh my goodness, it's really just taken over. The one on the end, that is actually the um, volunteer butternut, and we're starting to get some fruits on it. Um, here, somewhere in the middle, that's the zucchini, and we're getting a few here and there, kind of like last year. Not as many as you would expect, not at all. But then again, we're not massive zucchini eaters, so it works out. Honestly, I really grow it to just have a little bit on hand, make one thing of zucchini bread, maybe two, and then I feed the rest to the ducks. The rest of the garden, you will see there are weeds everywhere, because I haven't been weeding. Yeah, hi Mango. And that huge thing right there, that's the shelf of green beans. It's a hedge. It, those are the pole green beans. I put them at the at supposedly the right distance. And wow, they've pulled some things down. They're extremely heavy. And I'm only now starting to see flowers. I've been getting green beans off of the bush green beans I planted down at the bottom. Um, but I, am not, I haven't gotten any off of that hedge yet. Now this set of green beans, um, I actually have been getting a decent amount off of. Uh, the Vortex green beans have been wonderful. I am definitely growing those next year. They grow long, and since I snap my beans um, into smaller pieces, uh, that works out great. And the, uh, the garlic has been mostly taken out. I've left some for seed. Um, I've grown garlic that way before. I want to see if I can do it again. And I've got peas in there. It's time to start putting some supports up. And the corn and the uh, Jerusalem artichokes. That's Jerusalem artichokes. The corn's behind it. Um, they're coming along. The Jerusalem artichokes haven't bloomed yet. I'm not exactly sure when they do. But the corn, I just saw my very first tassel today. So hopefully not much longer now on the corn. The tomatoes have developed wilt like they did last year, but sooner than last year. So I'm a little concerned that we're not going to get the crop off of them that we need for all the things that we can. We might have to buy some, which I really don't want to do if I can avoid it. 
the peppers um, actually right there way in the back um, the cayenne peppers have finally started producing peppers uh, they're still green as is well almost everything we have lots of green the cukes have started producing and the green beans are going and I'm taking some of the onions out the carrots are not ready yet but the squash is actually doing pretty well and that's how things go here at the duck shack right petunia she's kidding she's so happy when she's in the bath yeah honey normally if the boys are out she doesn't really get a bath so that's another reason to put them in anyway have a good one little is a little wild tidbit mm -hmm. Where are you going? Nope, that's my hair. Still my hair. Mm -hmm, that's my hair. That green butt. Through to the other side. Where are you going? What are you doing, little Lena? No, 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 you don't get to do that. That's a napkin. Still a napkin. Still a napkin. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with my hair? Hmm?